Torrential rains overnight have resulted in flash floods in parts of the country, including Stan Creek District, where a sudden rush of water has disrupted road work along the Hummingbird Highway. This morning, motorists traveling through St. Margaret's were met with raging currents that made certain sections of the highway impassable. It's about 6.45 in the morning and we're in the Stan Creek Valley area, Hummingbird Highway, where I think there was some culverts that were put in while we um, are awaiting the construction of this bridge right here and we have a top gallon flood happening and there's absolutely no way nothing can pass here as you can see even the um, even the blockades that were put in were knocked by this huge log and are drifting the current is very very strong and this is not possible right now inside the hummingbird Chief Engineer Lennox Bradley of the Ministry of Works admits that the volume of water moving across the creek at St. Margaret's is too much for the culverts that have been placed across the highway while the bridge nearby remains under construction. It's something that we expect in a construction area. Um, the type of material that we have along the Hummingbird Highway is easily scorable. Um, we have the St. Margaret's Bridge where you are referring to, um, where a lot of debris has accumulated. And it's mainly because of the diversion that we, has, we have com constructed to allow um, traffic to flow while we are building the permanent bridge structure. And the diversion only has some, some um, culverts there. The volume of water that passed through that St. Margaret's Creek is well above what the, the diversion can take. And so some debris has dropped there, which has complicated matters to make water pass over the roadway. But as soon as water recedes, the debris can be removed and we could restore access there. At 5 o'clock this morning, this woman, identified as Mrs. Sutherland, left from Independence Village en route to Belmopan, having purchased butane at the National Gas Company in Big Creek. When she got here, she realized that this stretch of the highway was underwater. She has been stuck at this location since 6.30. I noticed this is behind us. Can't get home, hungry, no food, nothing. Nobody can try us to see nothing. You know, so I'm a little frustrated because I want to get home. So, so please. Um, what, what, what's your, um, what were you doing in um, Independence? I was with my husband. Mm -hmm. I went to him down there and he sent me trying to get home. I come ahead with another truck trying to get home. So you guys were delivering um, uh, beauty? Pulling. Hmm? Pulling. You pull up that way and then you drop it in Belmopan. You pull where? Down in Mango Creek. The Ministry of Works advised against the flow of vehicular traffic in the area while attempts were being made to clear the debris from the road. We wouldn't recommend traffic about an hour ago. I wouldn't have, would re recommend traffic to be passing there because it's fast flowing waters and you can't underestimate nature. The water level, as estimated by one motorist, was about four feet high. But the rapid flow of water was quite dangerous. So here we see the currents passing over the the road and we're standing on the new bridge and there's the other side of the road there so we're looking at easily maybe about four feet of water there's just no way no way we can pass this right now only a big big truck can go through Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.